Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Festival Theatre. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've been here, and it's been a long time since I've had this uniform on. In fact, it's a bit tight, but anyway, my name's Graham. You probably recognise me from working here for a long time. Um, normally I do tours here, but unfortunately because of lockdown that's not been able to happen. But I thought it might be quite nice if I did a series of mini tours just to get your juices flowing for when we're allowed to go into the theatre proper. And I wanted to focus on maybe some details that a lot of people maybe never thought about for the theatre. For instance, have you ever wondered why the theatre, the outside, the, the foyer, is on this half-curved shape? Well, the architect, Colin Ross, he was inspired to create this half-curved shape by the interior, the 1928 interior. He described the upper circle and the dress circle as, as getting a big hug when you're in the theatre. And boy, we could do with some hugs at this moment, couldn't we? Of course, we're not allowed to hug, but the theatre has got these hugs that we all yearn to go back to. You'll find these hugs all through the theatre. For instance, the door handles, they're on a half curve, or the skeleton of the building, it's all on half curves, if you have a look. So the original 1928 interior, Colin described it as being like a floozy and flock wallpaper. So he chopped off the original um, frontage and created this wonderful glass foyer. He Chanelified it. So you can just imagine it being like a bottle of Chanel number no. five. Classy. So let's go inside and have a look at his inspiration. If you'd like to follow me. And here we are in the stalls. Originally, only one pillar held up the dress circle, but for symmetry's sake and for the sake of the leading players who never knew where centre stage was, they thought it would be a good idea to put in a false pillar. So the next time you're in, which hopefully will be soon, I want you to knock on the pillars and you'll hear one is solid and the other one is hollow. And uh, people will probably think you're mad. <laughs> While we're here, in 1896, the very first moving image in Scotland was actually in a theatre here. I mean, it must have been amazing. Can you imagine the very first moving image and you've never seen anything move on screen before? I mean, we're very used to mobile phones and television and stuff like that, but imagine if you'd never seen that at all. And let's say, for instance, in Victorian times, a train is hurtling towards you. I mean, the audience would all scream and try and run out of the theatre because they actually thought they were going to get flattened. <laughs> amazing. Now. If you look up at the boxes, on this side here, you'll see a date, 1928. That's the date of this interior because we left it untouched. We just repainted it. And on the other side, you'll see the date, 1994. And that's when all the alterations happened, i.e. the front was cut off and was Chanelified. And if we go down here, And here, down at the front, they chopped off just behind the proscenium arch and made it the biggest stage in Europe at that time in 1994. But subsequently, Wales Millennium Centre has now got a bigger stage and Covent Garden, they had a refit and theirs is bigger now. But I think we should get on stage, so follow me. So here we are on the stage. The inspiration for the curve on the glass front. Have a look around and enjoy the hugs.
Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you back at the theatre very, very soon. Now, theatres are struggling all over the country. If you feel that you can possibly donate, then just go to our web page um, at Capital Theatres and we would be so grateful. Now, come here. Give me a hug. <laughs>